want to explain the anatomy of the respiratory system. Uh, the respiratory system consists of all the organs involved in breathing. That means the organs which are responsible for inhaled and exhaled air. As well as we must know that all metabolic process depend on energy as ATP and the production of ATP require oxygen. So the cardiovascular system as well as respiratory and urinary and digestive system have a specially close physiological relationship. The principal organ of the respiratory system are the nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, and lungs. These organs serve to receive fresh air and exchange gases with the blood and expel the modified air. And we can divide the respiratory system into two type of division. The first division according to the location of the respiratory organ. So the first division is the upper respiratory tract, which include the airway from the nose to the larynx, from the nose to the larynx. That means the organs which located in the head as well as in the neck while the lower respiratory tract include the regions from the trachea and the other organs which located in the thoracic cage or in the thorax. The second division depends on the function of the respiratory organs. The first one is the conductive division. This part act as a passage for the airway include nose pharynx larynx trachea bronchus bronchi the other division is the respiratory division that means the respiratory organs which are res responsible for gas exchange Now, we want to speak briefly about the function of the respiratory system. As I said before, the main function is ventilation of the lung, that means breathing, and external respiration. This means the exchange of gases between the air and the blood, and between the blood and the tissue fluid. Third function is internal respiration. This is the use of oxygen in cellular metabolism. Also, the respiratory system have non-respiratory function. That means this system control the acid base balance and also drug excretion, as well as act in uh, controlling blood pressure, as well as platelet formation. Now we speak about the first part of the respiratory organ, which is the nose. We know the nose has very important function. The first one is warms air, cleanses, and humidified inhaled air. And also this nose can detect other in the airstream and amplify the voice. The nose composed of a framework of bone and cartilage. This part is the bony part of the nose. This is the nasal bone. The other part composed of cartilage. You see here, this is the lateral cartilage and the septal cartilage which separate the two sides and the lesser alar cartilage and the greater alar cartilage. Here you see we have dense connective tissue. This is not a cartilage, and this is called alanazi. <laughs> the 
the respiratory epithelia the epithelia lining at the entrance i mean the vestibule to the nasal cavity is composed of keratinized stratified sequamous epithelia and also the nose have olfactory epithelia this specialized cell for smell and line the rock of the nasal cavity here is the nasal cavity and also the respiratory system most of it lined by pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelia also we can call this histological epithelia respiratory epithelia the pharynx this is the second part of the respiratory organ we must know that the pharynx have three regions the first one which is responsible for respiration we call it nasopharynx and the other we call it oropharynx and this is the part or the region behind the larynx we call it laryngeopharynx now we want to speak about the larynx the larynx called voice box and con composed of many cartilage the primary function is to keep food and the drink out of the airway and to produce sound you see here this opening we call it the glottis and the flame which enclose the glottis we call it epiglottis which is a spoon like in shape you see it is like spoon this is the epiglottis which enclose the glottis to avoid food to enter the respiratory tract here we have the bigger one the bigger cartilage we call it the thyroid and it's a common name called adamable and it is in male bigger than female the other cartilage is the cricoid cartilage is the cricoid cartilage which is ring like ring like which connect the larynx with the trachea and here we have the artenoid and which attached to the upper end and look like horn you see it's like horn now the trachea the trachea we call it also the wind pipe because of the passage of the air and it's composed of many incomplete circles cartilage the trachea open the open part of the sea face posteriorly that is mean it allowed passage to the esophagus and the trachea branch into right and left primary bronchi see it are divided into primary bronchi which supply the lung this is enter the lung bronchina and then it branch to the bronchial tree what we call the bronchial tree the larynx trachea and the bronchial tree are lined mostly by pseudophyte pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelia you see here the cartilage of the trachea the ring of the cartilage is hyaline cartilage you see here this is a hyaline cartilage 
the bronchial tree this is here the uh, bronchial tree you see in the right lung it gave three branch while in the left lung it gave two branch because the lung the left lung is smaller than the right lung you see here this is the primary bronchi and secondary bronchi and tertiary bronchi this is what we call it bronchial tree and also this bronchial tree is separated till it reach the it reach uh, the terminal bronchioles and each terminal bronchioles give off two or more smaller respiratory bronchioles they divide it into two to ten in long it in long uh, and have thin wall passage called alveolar duct that end in the alveolar sac which are grape like cluster now you see in this here we have the two lungs and you see that is have three part so this is the right and this is two loop this is the left this is small because the heart located slightly shaft to the left side of the uh, thoracic cage the most component of the Lang, bro, la, lang uh, bronchima is the alveoli and here we see the illustration of the alveoli and you see each alveoli uh, supplied by uh, pulmonary arterioles as well as pulmonary venules and here it's separate as a capillary network this is surround the alveoli this is the alveoli and we must know that uh, the lung composed of nearly a 300 million alveoli in a human and give a total surface of 70 meters squared meter and the alveolar sac which are grape like cluster like this grape like clusters also bound from the wall of the respiratory bronchiole and alveolar duct and it lined with the blood vessel alveoli lined by two type of epithelial cell this is very important the third type is the pneumocyte this is a flat cell and it is nearly 95 percent of the alveoli and the second type is the pneumocyte this is a granular cell and uh, nearly five percent and this secretes surfactant this surfactant is a substance that may remain that lead to remain the alveoli open not collapsed to uh, take sufficient air for gasic exchange also we have other cells we have other cells in the alveoli we have dust cell also we have macrophage this is the macrophage as well as we have lymphocyte and plasma cell and mast cell which secrete histamine this is all for the uh, respiratory system uh, anatomy and thank you